It might be exactly where you thrive. I've plus Spring Dog off stage, right? We saw Blitz with some super creative mix-ups, but between forward air, back air, and also those fireballs, Smub has really good tools to contest Peanut off stage. Absolutely. All right, already off to a great start, looking for the uh, the double fair. Obviously, that's kind of transparent. Peep not just going to be able to use all of the great vertical options uh, in terms of movement to get around that kind of stuff. Obviously, uh, we've got the up B to give you a, a lot more pressure, and you've got the versatility of Mega Man's up B being able to act out of it, which is key here. And Smub, they're knowing the discipline, right? Not jumping, so able to get over and around that top plat. The fireball is going to keep peep at the edge, disrupt the pressure a little bit, but no neutral needed. Goes right from the corner into an advantage state, but Smub able to wrestle it back just like that. Leaf shield though, oh, so hard to get away from. And this is where we really see how these Smub's big body combines with these multi-hits in an unfortunate fashion. Right, Peep has been able to cross up shield and then cross up back, find true combos that might only work on Ridley because right. light plus big, Makes it hard to get away from very active hitboxes, which Mega Man has in excess. Right, I mean, Peep Knight has clearly seen the Smub show before. He knows what Smub's going to be looking for from ledge. It's that side B, at least in the beginning of this. He's still going to have to be forced into shield here. This is the conditioning that Smub starts from minute one in the game. He forces you into shield. He knows that you want to escape the nair pressure, escape the fair pressure. So you go into shield, but that's the tomahawk grab that comes afterwards. And Ridley with a very strong grab game, but unfortunately dying an early death here to the up tilt. Uh, it does seem that the DP can work well on the big bodies. And Smub just has been, right, tried so hard to get anything started. But we're seeing him try and find these nairs, right? Get the opening. And Peeb is honestly playing a lot more like Blitz this game. He's still holding forward more than a player like Blitz would, but it's so weird to watch him go from that set, take the playstyle adjustment, and just implement it in this matchup where it's going to be beneficial to him. And because he's letting Smub swing and then and just saying, okay, you just don't get to play the game anymore, where the Peeb that we traditionally see might actually just try and contest or beat out that button in the first place. Right. And unfortunately, I think it's going to come down... Yep. It is going to come down, indeed, to uh, a lot of these two-frame edge guards that Smub loves going for. He knows that there's enough delay that he can actually set up that F-tilt angle, do it well enough. If he finds that timing, knows when Peebnut is pulling the trigger on his recovery options, he can more likely find that two-frame with the angle down F-tilt. That is going to be the, the, the linchpin, I think, of this uh, of this whole set if he's able to find those because Peepnut knows that he doesn't want to go high for fear of getting back aired or nair. He doesn't want to go super low, well, but he has to go to an we, angle where Smub is not going to threaten with these back airs. We, what we did see though, and Smub barely not getting carried off the top early, what we did see from him there air was just when he went high, when Meg, sorry, when P went high before was he would just, the hard knuckle is so hard for Ridley to deal with. Now though, oh, Smub trying to find a way back to stage. Crash Bomber gonna reset the situation, but missing the ledge trap, it's gonna be that extra opportunity. And now, as you mentioned, the ledge trap is Smub's opportunity to shine. And he, unlike last set, he's gonna lock it, this one down and at least yep. get a little bit of extra credit out of it. And looking for that downward angled up -y as well. Smub trying to go for some of these big callouts, but Peebnut using the Metal Blade to cover all of those angular aggression options extremely well. He knows that Smub's approach is going to be rather linear, and of course, the Metal Blade is the perfect tool to deal with those kinds of options. Smub finding the grab on the getup. He is locked in here, Nerf. Or I don't know if you have a mental link with him or what, but man, he read... He took what you said as we're like, here is his win condition, right? He needs to be efficient on his ledge trapping. He needs to get more in these situations. And this is how he needs to get out of disadvantage. And he's done all of that to a T in this game so far. Even still, he hasn't managed to close out the stock quite yet. But the adjustments are certainly a step in the right direction.
literally, I mean, Peepnut is keeping the perfect spacing at this mid range, making it so that Smub has to go for some of these aggressive op op like options, but then instantly gets beat up by either a metal like a metal blade, what, a pallet, a uh, crash bomber, something here. And now Peepnut is catching almost all of these opportunities and, and running with them. He's They're extremely precise with his disjoints, and Smub, unfortunately, he's getting one of these F tilts, but it wasn't even a two frame. He's got to make sure that he's consistently getting the situations where he can replicate that stuff. Smub and Peep cleaning that up in turn, but that only that whole situation almost didn't even happen. Is Peep attacked while still in the command grab to break it because he hit the wall and the weird interaction ensued and and Smub recovered, took the stock, and now he's getting juggles for his troubles. A hundred percent, just like that. Ridley just struggling to get down, and this might be the end of the road nerf or. Or for the Smub Show, I know we have another game minimum after this, but unless he can make some, he's got to make some drastic adjustments because this matchup just feels brutal sometimes. And sometimes, you know, Ridley is a, a simple enough flowchart that it's very hard for you to drastically change anything about your playstyle. You have to be going for some of these consistent confirms or callouts that you know are going to work, but at the end of the day, I mean, Peepnut is just playing this matchup beautifully, and it's just going to wear down on Smub's patience and his stamina here. He's just not able to get the distance to cover over that forward smash that Peepnut has been finding time and time again. Yeah, it's just so difficult. The first F smash he actually he dropped the metal blade and punished the end lag of the item pickup here. Er, right. er. The second one, he just catches him pushing in, in the end lag of his aerial. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's just going to be but, another run back, it looks like. I think Smub just wants to run it right back to Small Battlefield. This yeah. is his favorite stage and here. That's that's the strat that we saw against Fawn as well, right? It was run it back, run it back, run it back. back. Keep yeah, running yeah. it back because this is where I'm work. comfortable. Eventually. He just and, needs to keep adjusting, right? And it's, it's the adjustment in the play that I think is going to be the most important here. He and, can't change the stage. Just go with what you know. Fix your mistakes in neutral. Why, right? The scientific method, right? You want to have that control variable and you want to have that experimental one that you get to change. Why can you change the stage and make some playstyle adjustments when you feel like it's just your play, right? Keep the control, keep it locked down and able to find almost a zero to death Forcing out the error from Peeb and Nerf, I mean, we're already seeing just a different level of smub here. And wait, he took the jump here, by the way, so there's not a lot Peep can do. He does go high with that roll dog. I mean, that's really smart that he's able to just find the positioning necessary, but, I mean, let's be real. Uh, Peep not taking stage control. This is going to be a lot of more of the same, catching those side beats from ledge. He knows that smub wants that so badly. And win or lose... I just want to shout out Smub for finally having a stock lead, at least for the moment, for the first time this set. Beautiful recovery in the up air air stall. His creativity is unmatched, but unfortunately at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how creative you are, my friend, because there's a big blue laser ball coming for you. Still getting caught by the rising options. It's these rising aggression options from ledge that have been working for Peepnut, but not for Smub. And that's where Smub's really got to find the answer. Either give up on that completely or punish Peepnut for doing it. Ooh. And now it's the get up option. Uh, what did I say earlier during the Fawn set? There is no escape. There is no tech option that will get you up out of that up smash. I was going to say, is the only option like perfectly timed get up attack on reaction to the F smash release because of the iframe? I mean, you can't, I mean, literally, you have to wait until he, yeah, has to release it and then you yeah. get up, yeah, but he'll just release it and often, you can't react in time. Yeah, it's such a brutal checkmate situation, right? The one benefit to Ridley's big body is that he's got big hitboxes for his troubles. Well, the fireballs can be so good if you can find a way to keep Mega Man in a lane to uh, get locked down by them, but Peep just... He presses the jump button so freely, and so far Smub hasn't been able to find consistent ways to keep him grounded. Doing so, and instead of trying to continue to do so like he had in past games, this time he's just trying to keep him in the air instead, and he's gotten a lot more success in this pivotal game Ooh. number three. But we see the drag down fair. This is the, uh, the extra stuff that really a lot of people don't know has. And we're going to get one of those callouts, the neutral get up into shield. Very common for a lot of players, even the best ones. Uh, Smub's going to call that out, knowing that you're playing scared. Very nice stuff. So, I mean, I do like it. I mean, Smub, knowing that he's got to set up these edge guards, he knows the distance on the Crash Bomber as well. Looking for something, just in case he can get a, a trump on an early upbeat or something. Just, and then the just goes for it. from Smub as well to call out the spot dodge, realizing that... 
keep hasn't gone for it a while, likes that option historically to get out of dodge, and that Mega Man with spot dodge up tilt, etc., just has some really good reversal tools. So saying just taking a gentleman, giving up some potential damage there to maximize his likelihood of forgetting the corner situation, did so, close out the game, and now nerf. Smub is right back in this set, right? We saw him pull off a reverse 3 0 last time he was over on this viewing in site. It's certainly possible he does it again. I mean, I can already tell the crowd is waiting for that reversal opportunity to happen. Smub is still going to have his work cut out for him, though. I'm not going to say it's easy. He's already lost a couple games, and he knows that there are so many things that he had to learn in that time to fix his mistakes against Mega Man. Let's see if all of that uh, adaptation is going to stick, or if Peebnut is just going to mix up some of the stuff and get an early kill. And that barely did it, Nerf. Or, or, Smub's DI was good, and you saw, right? It felt he literally, it was his last frame of hit stun that he drifted off the top there. He was so close to being able to survive, but close only matters in horseshoes and hand grenades, and unfortunately, Crash Bomber does not count out and not gonna find his mark. Smub does have an opportunity to even up the Smub dog count if he can lock down ledge, but Peep's not falling for the same tricks as last game. And that's the thing, a lot of Smub's tricks only work once, unless he is able to condition you into forgetting that they exist. And we'll have to see if over the course of this set, or this whole game, if he can continue to build on the things that he's built on. Two up smashes after, and there's the and, moonwalk, and we're seeing it. That up smash, right? You slightly missed space compared to before, that yeah. one is going to take you off the top and going to be it. But that up smash didn't actually cover the whole platform, but because of that, Peeb isn't respecting it because he's like, oh, he's not in the right positioning. And, yeah. and that's exactly what you're talking about, right? Forget that they exist. Maybe you pick up, make your own option suboptimal so that your opponent doesn't respect that you might still go for them. And now, yeah, it looks like Smub is just caught in a lot of the same simple tactics that he had been forced into. Uh, obviously, he's not looking for a lot of the, some, the, the stuff How that had been working. Find his way back to know. ledge behind the. That hard knuckle was right there, and yet Ridley, when there's a will, there's a way, and this Space Pirate's not gonna give up uh, without a fight. Uh -oh. But no jump, gonna get caught by the Crash Bomber, but yeah. has the air dodge back. Unfortunately, that back air, man, so, so active, and he's just gonna sweep it, sweep it up, clean up the the bits and pieces left on his way over to Winner's Semi-Finals. Yeah. Congrats to Peep for Winner's Top 8. Yeah, I mean, that was a crucial, I, I would say, a hesitation there, where they're both frozen in shield, and Smub wants to go for the grab, but it comes out too late, Peepnut spot dodges it, and it seemed like that was going to be a turning of the tide. Peepnut gets sent off stage, but you can see Smub got too greedy, and the air dodge actually means he does not get the grab again. He forced uh, to up B, then grab again with the air dodge, and every single time he'd been going with that jump from ledge fair. Peebnut knew at this point that that was coming out, and he's just going to find that answer with the back air. It was a reaction, not even a read at this point. And with Smub going for that fair, 